emphasize a little bit of a, a rise coming up on top of it. Let me see how that works. Same things are here. Again, the light source and secondary light source helps turn the thing. These are very shiny, shiny teeth. I mean, these are almost like they should be silver or metallic or something. Chrome, maybe. They're very shiny. Give me some cross shapes here. And again, the I mean, the the more you want to render, the more you can render. So I'm just kind of going quick because I just wanted to show you a few things out of it. You know. tool. I'm just going to soften up this edge. Even though I normally would put something back there, some sort of texture, I'm just, just going to let it go soft and a little rough. Again, since it's a monster, I don't mind that. Kinda, I'm just shoving back into it there so I get the sort of... It almost gives you like a... Um, it's a cool way to get sort of a drip effect. By just shoving hard with the smudge tool, smudging the shape around. Get a if you want to work on it a little bit more, you can get that sort of a which again works into this thing fairly well. Pulling it off, gives you a little bit of that paint feel. Let me give him a little bit of a an eye glow now. Again, since this is 100% black, I should be able to get back to a yeah. That lighter shade. If that was 100% back being on highlights, I shouldn't be able to really pull back too bright a shape. They're going a little bit bigger than I can. Do stuff there. And now if you see some of this stuff is getting maybe uh, a quick way to without going in and really tightening up a lot more, another trick on, on a lot of these paintings is to run an unsharp mask. Uh, and I'll show you what that does. Sharpen, unsharp mask. It's all the way over there. And it even gives you some interesting textures. But um, let's go ahead and, and bring it up to... Oh, let's see. That's a lot of unsharp mask. But let's try that. You can even bring up the radius. I usually do it around one if you do it more, see what the kind of different effects you can get. Which again might you know, be appropriate for some design that you're doing. Let's bring it back to about one. Okay, so that's with the unsharp mask, that's without it. So it just kind of just 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 kind of makes it pop a little bit more. And there you go. I leave it to you guys to finish the other side. Let's see how close does it look to my original one? No, different. Shows you how you can do that different. But also, I mean, and again, the other thing to think about too when you do these designs is like you can always jump back in as well into uh, liquefy. And well, I mean, let's 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 actually take this one more step. I have an idea. Since we've kind of gone with a, um, I've already done like half. Okay, so let's cheat. Show you a cheating technique, uh, which means essentially a speed technique. So I'm going to copy, paste, and I'm going to control T, transform tool. So I'm just dragging it over. I don't want it to be perfectly uniform, so I'm not doing an exact flip of that uh, thing. But I want to be able to see this edge a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to copy this because I want to keep that one. 
Merge it down. And now let's take this into uh, Liquify so we can kind of remove some of that symmetry that we, we just had. So let's go Liquify, which is that one, Brian. I love this tool, I love this tool, I love this tool. Even when I didn't like the, I can't remember the first Photoshop that this tool came came in. And I, I literally had my old Photoshop uh, in there and I just used this Photoshop for this tool. Again, see I'm just gonna, the idea is to remove the symmetry. So it doesn't look like I just cheated and copied and flipped the one half of this thing to the other. Straighten out some of these teeth a little bit more. Change that. Move this side of the face more. And I'm just shoving. I, I'm just using that tool, which is again essentially sort of a. It's almost like having a magic. Uh, I can even emphasize another sort of drip here. Move that one around. It's it's like a you know, magic putty tool almost. Again, I'm just emphasizing that these two sides are not exactly the same. Shh, but they are. Okay. Don't tell anybody. You can sort of make the teeth so they're not exactly the same. There's even some changes that I would just want to make just to make it look a little cooler. If you want to go more extreme, you could, you know, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I actually like that a lot. Um, even change major features. That's pretty cool too. saying okay. But this is kind of handy too when you're doing, especially if you're doing some texture maps for some 3D modeling where you've done half a painting and you really don't have time and you want to get that texture map going. Um, and then, I mean, you can see where you can obviously say, oh, this is sort of uh, um, you know, liquefied out, but um, but then you could go in and, and do generally do a little bit more cleanup work. Boy, you would make it really hard for someone to tell. They would get pretty confused. Like I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna go back to those dodge and burn tool. I'm on dodge. I'm just going to emphasize this shape a little bit more and de-emphasize that thing, which is the same as that side. And again, kind of with value now, I'm, I'm even making the changes a little bit more. Highlight, emphasize the edge of the shape. Yeah. Smudge this a little bit more straight again. Get rid of the exact same shapes on the side. Shove up that a little bit. Bring it in on that side. You know, a certain amount of symmetry is going to be okay because, you know, essentially there's two eyes to things and there is a super certain amount of symmetry in, in what we do. Adding a few more of those sort of drips. And there you go. You know, add some more texture, to add some texture to the background. I mean, keep going with some shapes like this and you really have kind of a a, a nice finished design comp here 
that I'm still messing with because I can never say when. Okay, there you go. Uh, check out www digital art tutorials uh, for more stuff because we're adding new tutorials all the time. I discover a new technique or something and I will pass it on to you guys. Thanks.